So, um, thinking about just um, you know science as it stands today, what advice would you give young female scientists? That's kind of a hard question because I think the world that I was shaped in is very much different from the world for female young female scientists today. As an example. Um, I studied breast cancer immunology at the very beginning, before there was breast cancer immunology. Um, and I kind of fell into it serendipitously because those were the patients I saw. When I went to my first major meeting and gave a podium talk about discovering T cells specific for breast cancer antigens in breast cancer patients, I was so excited. I thought of every single question anyone could ask me. and I. I had written it out, I had memorized the whole thing, 12 minutes long. When I got to the end of it, um, th this older male scientist rushed to the microphone. And I'm like, I am so ready for this. And he said, why are you su studying something so stupid as breast cancer immunology? Breast cancer patients don't have immune responses to their tumors. You know, why aren't you studying melanoma? That's an immunogenic tumor. Mm -hmm. And I just didn't know what to say. I mean, he wasn't asking about the data, or he wasn't even asking me anything. He was making a, a statement. And I felt so embarrassed, like mm -hmm. it made me question myself a little bit. And when I went back to the lab, um, I really thought about it. And I thought, you know what? This is where my passion is. I believe this data. I know breast cancer patients have immune responses. And I can say now, 20 years later, breast cancer is immunogenic. It's one of the few solid tumors where immunotherapy has been approved. And what's more, I recently gave a talk at an East Coast school where the person who invited me there introduced me as the mother of breast cancer immunology. So it kind of validated that if you have a passion for something, Stay focused. Don't let anyone shake you from that. Be fearless and focused. And go with that passion no matter what. So even now, like today, people ask me, COVID, are you developing a COVID vaccine? And everyone I know who's in the field of tumor immunology who works on vaccines is clamoring to get some money from NIH because the money's there for right. COVID vaccines. And for us, we aren't even tempted by that. Our goal, our mission, our focus is to end cancer. That's a big goal. We're not gonna let anything take us away from achieving that goal. There's lots of brilliant minds out there trying to develop a COVID vaccine. So we're gonna stay focused and stick with what we know and hopefully, at the end of it, end up with really making some progress against this disease. That's incredible advice. So follow your passion and stay focused. And uh, I'll definitely take that to heart, too.